All right, next video, Zenith Space Command. Look how big this set is. I, like this is f massive. I, looking at the picture on Facebook Marketplace, I didn't think it was gonna be this big, but it works. And this is exciting. My friend, Gave me this Xena Space Command remote um, a few years ago. It was his grandfather's, new in the box, new in the packaging. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm never going to use this. What it does is when you press these down, those little things right, those circular things right there, it rings out a certain frequency that the Space Command sets can pick up so you can... Uh, change the channel, volume on and off, and I guess on the model his grandfather had, you could turn the set on and off. So let me show you that right now. So you have a little manual or remote. We'll set that to remote. So I haven't gotten the on and off to work. But once it turns on... This is a huge CRT. Um, I don't know what year yet, but we got channel two. So there's no batteries in this. You just click this down and the high uh, frequency is picked up by the TV. So channel higher. I mean, why did they get rid of this technology? This is the coolest thing ever, no batteries. So turning the volume up, and then this uh, button right here puts it on mute, so you don't have to get up to turn the volume down. Oh wow, I can zoom even further out on my phone. Okay, I just got a new phone, so hopefully my videos are a bit higher quality now. Um, oh, this is so much better. Okay, so I hooked up my pattern generator to it. Let's see... Oh wait, gotta go to four. Um, hold on. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is the only channel I can pick up that pattern generator on. Um, so it looks, I mean, the picture's jumping, I'm getting some uh, fuzziness. So I'm not really sure what's, what's going on with that. Let me hook up a VCR. Maybe it has, maybe these were meant for, I guess, some older model sets. Maybe it's not putting out the signal on the correct frequency for this channel four. Um, so yeah, let me hook up a VCR and then see where we can go from there. All right, there we go. It had a coax cable sticking out the back. All right, nice, we got child's play going. Damn, this picture is great. Uh, it looks better in person. <laughs> Let's see, I don't want to get copyright. All right, wow, what a frickin' beast of a set. Let me show you how just large this thing is compared to my other sets. So I measured it's 20 inch or 23 inch diagonally. Uh, CRT, let's see what it looks like if I switch over the channel. Yeah, good looking set. Uh, I still think I'm gonna open it and check out the inside. 
Yeah. Um, cause it looks like a, you can sort of see lines flickering now and again. And I'm wondering, um, if I do, if I do need to replace anything back there. So maybe that'll be my event for tonight. Cause this set is gorgeous. I think the picture tube is a little tired cause it does look a little dark, but I just turn up the, uh, black level the color a bit picture's already at max and i think we are good chromatic button i'm not sure what that does maybe it just makes these controls irrelevant yeah it does okay so it's like an auto damn this picture looks so good though it's got a nice, uh, I mean, a nice vintage look to it. So what, what is S, S P C L A F C. I don't know what that does, but it keeps it blinking in and out. I'm just going to put that back to normal. Looks good. Uh, let's pop off the back. Let's see the setup they got in there. These sort of 80s color sets, they, there's just a lot going on in the back. So let's turn it around. I'll show you the back. Let's pop the back off. Got the back here. Um, so I'm not seeing any model number, but you see the... VHF and UHF attachment, as well as this. I'm not sure if they came stock with this. Another, or I guess I just sold a set that had this as well. I don't know if it's an aftermarket thing or why it's designed like that. Um, place for antenna. Back at the CRT. What does that say? Video something. We got um, model, no model number SM2311W. Uh, I don't see a year though, so we'll go ahead and just continue taking the back off. All right, here's the inside of the set. This is a little more modern than what I'm used to. Um, but I don't think anyone's, you know, been in here. These sets just work forever. All right, what we got there? I think that's just describing the, what, that module right there? I don't know. That doesn't really give a model number. Oh, what's this? Oh, damn, I thought it was going to be the receipt. Red, green, blue. So what, 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 is, uh, what is that in reference to? I'm not sure. Uh, pretty dirty chassis. Um, the set smells not good. Um, I, got, I got really nothing to say. This, it works. Um, I might test a few of the electrolytics on the board. Um, see if any really need replacing because I, I intend to use this set quite a bit uh so yeah um i'll give you an update if i see anything that i want to talk about all right here it is um i had to adjust the yoke a little bit it was a little sideways the image was sort of uh rotated a little bit um but this is what I wanted to show you, the little update. I got legs off of Amazon, and they screw into the bottom because I didn't, you know. When I got the TV, they didn't have legs to them, but they had leg screw-ins on the bottom. And they don't exactly match the cabinet, but I think it looks pretty good. I, I like this, and I think it's got a good, you know, movie setup. I think this is going to be our movie-watching set for a while. I'm glad, because I sold. I had another one right there. That was another Zenith. 
and uh, I sold it to a production company that needed to use it on set. And then the same day I found this set. So I was like, all right, perfect. And I made a little profit, which makes me happy. Um, I also got 12 inch legs if I ever wanted to substitute, like if it wasn't on uh, a little stand like that. So it could be even taller. But yeah, this, I mean, this set is awesome. You know, even my wife, when I'm not home, uses it, which means she likes at least one TV I bring home. Let's see how the volume is. All right, here we go. Um, and this isn't the news, even if it sort of looks like it. This is 28 days later. One of my favorite, all-time favorite horror movies. But yeah, this set just looks great. Um, just perfect viewing distance. I'm all happy here. Uh, that's all I got to say. This must be. This should be a quick video. Because I don't have, you know, there wasn't any repair I needed to do. You know, maybe if something happens in the future, I'll make a little add-on to this. Um, I st this is the coolest addition to this TV is being able to actually use a remote with no batteries and it just works. Okay, that was insanely loud. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. Looking good here. Uh, be sure to check out the next video. I'm not sure what the next one's going to be, but hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully I can get a, another tube set to uh, do a full, long, hour-long restoration on. I think a lot of you enjoy that. So I'll be making one of those in the future, hopefully.